what is happening what is happening in this country what happened to empathy when you come to these nurses what happened to empathy they just talk to patients anyhow like what the heck don't try that with me oh. not with me ha. talk to me anyhow are you <laughs> you won't believe what happened so i went to the hospital and i asked a government hospital and i asked one of these students on uh, internship like where can i keep my book because obviously you need to keep your book somewhere and then they'll call you you know to take your vital signs and uh, for you to go see the doctor yeah the normal protocol no so the student told me go there and keep your book so i went there and i was standing in front of this uh, this men nurse and other stu um, students on internship so i was standing there and i was like here is my book and they were just looking they looked at me and you know they just ignored me so i was standing there with my book and they just ignored me and then this student turned and told the men nurse like i am saying something because i was speaking english okay and the men nurse then i asked her what is she standing here and doing with her book you get making me look like a fool like i was like okay i was like please i came and i greeted you nicely and i said this is my book direct me where to go if i'm not supposed to keep my book here she turned and started shouting and i was like okay welcome to cameroon here we go again with your sorry attitude i told her mom don't try it with me they never born you how can a patient come to the hospital you come to the hospital because you're unwell right because you're sick and then you talk to people anyhow they never born you don't try with me don't talk to me like that like why are you shouting why was she shouting why are you being rude to me what did i do simply because i came with my book somebody directed me go and give your book there and then now you're taking me as if i'm a fool are you <laughs> people are just looking at me like i'm mad on this road this country all of you what am i saying i'm saying now all of you all this rude attitude they should not try with me not with me ha. anywhere i go to where i deal with them not with me i really came and i asked nicely okay i greeted good morning please where can i keep my book what else was i supposed to say what else should i do why are you rude to me then I, one doctor came out saying uh madam what do you need then i explained to the doctor i'm just looking for where i can keep my book you know at the end of the day now he directed me and i saw the doctor without they didn't even take any vital signs nothing okay i thought vital signs are like the main thing when you get into the hospital government hospital no vital signs nothing anyways no problem this phone that i'm holding like this somebody can even snatch my phone so i'm just from the hospital the hospital is just beside me i'm just from consulting so i have like this ear pain oh my god you won't believe after consulting the doctor sent me to another uh, area like the place is really so far from here really really so far i need to get a taxi and for me to even get a taxi like a direct taxi is very difficult so maybe i need to get like one drop and that's a lot of money you get so i ask these people this is a government hospital and i know that a government hospital they have all the department so i don't understand why i don't understand why they are sending me so i ask this lady why are they sending me somewhere else? i'm making this my thing like that my phone can be snatched so i asked her why are they sending me to another hospital why is this doctor sending me somewhere else and the person was like that is his private clinic you know why should you send me to your private clinic how can i consult in the government hospital 
and this doctor is sending me to his private clinic what is this oh my goodness so right now i'm in this uh, empty street so i can take my phone up at least nobody can snatch my phone here i love this environment because it is quiet mm, look at the environment that's why sometimes i really feel bad for this government you know because at times we complain but the system is corrupt why would a doctor in a government hospital send me to his private clinic why he's working under the government but he's sending me to his private clinic why now i have to spend so much money to take taxi and then it is more expensive okay if i could do this in in the government uh, hospital it could have been way lesser is that even good english <laughs> i could have paid less i think somebody is coming behind me. so we have kids playing here i'm done with these government hospitals i am so done with these government hospitals you get and some of them they don't even pay tax that's a problem that is a problem they don't pay tax they have their private clinics somewhere oh goodness this government there eh? this country they need to reform this country I'm walking all the way for what for what let me just vent my anger out because i am really really so so angry so so angry what is this and now if i don't go there to this his private clinic obviously he will not attend to me because he said when you're done come back here and i can only come back tomorrow so i'm still walking trying to go and look for taxi because the, as you can see there are no taxis around here what to do this is something i could have just finished up there in the hospital run up with him and go home but no i have to go right to another place and then i have to come and see him again but tomorrow because obviously he will get up from there and just and just and just and just go home oh so they have like a bakery there i don't know supermarket or something here i can find taxi but the main road is right across there so right now i need to be careful because they can snatch my phone here and uh, i'm not really seeing any taxi anyways so i still need to walk all the way to the main road oh my goodness ah i hate this country oh my god stop, stop making people to me goodness what is all this trash here ah so this other clinic i went to no this other hospital i went to i wanted to do the lab test somewhere else because it was very expensive where this doctor sent me to and uh, the nurse said oh if i don't do it where the doctor recommended the doctor won't attend to me that i should go to where he has sent me to and i was like oh my gosh very very expensive like five times the price so i said okay let me go somewhere where they'll give me like it's somewhere that is like one star because his place was like five star and he was like if you don't go there i won't if you don't go there he won't attend to you that is my country for you so right now i'm in this area where you have all these old government houses you know still walking to go get a taxi all government houses all neighborhood so pissed so angry right now <laughs> the main road i'm going to try and get a taxi from here So right now I'm in 
in a taxi going to this location to this doctor's clinic so I took direct taxi uh, and that is 2,500 wasting my precious money just like that you get hmm. yeah I took one drop still with my book going to this location Femal, is it pinning? <laughs> mm? No. Take this. He asked you to come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will really ask. Okay. Hi everyone. So I'm just from uh, from there. Finally, I got to these people. Do you know how much credit I wasted just to get to these people? And then the taxi man got angry because we were going round and round, asking them where is the direction. There, there is no even name in front there. There is no name to indicate that it is a clinic or whatever. No name. And that's why we were going round and round and asking them, where is the place? They were saying, oh, go left, go right, go. Do you know how much I've spent on taxi? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So, she wrote some. So they cleaned my ear. Then she wrote uh, one drop. I should buy this drop and put it, you know, put it inside my ear and I should go back to see the doctor. And I was like, go back to see him for what? Anyways, she said I should come back on Friday. So, huh. crossing the road over here is a huge 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 challenge nobody wants to stop for you to cross oh goodness wow look at this swing mm, lovely let me show you my environment <laughs> <laughs> 